In this video, we'll cover how to load the TeamViewer app onto your LR7, LR8, NovaChat or ChatFusion device. You may wish to use TeamViewer if you are unable to see your speech pathologist or support person at this time. First, we're just going to make sure that kiosk mode is turned off or disabled. So press the menu button, application settings, scroll down to system, scroll down again, press kiosk mode. Make sure that it's unticked. Okay, so you'll see now that it says screen unpinned. So I'm going to press back, press back and press back again. This circle button, when I press it, will exit me out to my Android environment. Okay, so in order to download any app, I'll need to connect to the internet first. Swipe your finger down from the top to the bottom of your screen and enter into the settings. Okay, so here, when I go into my Wi-Fi menu, it will show me all of the available Wi-Fi networks. When I find my Wi-Fi network, I'll open it. It will then ask me to enter in my password in order to connect. When I'm connected to my internet, I can press the back arrow to go back. I'll now enter into my apps menu. Yep, and I'm trying to find the Play Store, which is here, which is the Android equivalent, the App Store. Okay, so now in my search bar, I'm going to type in quick support yep. quick support team viewer and this is the app that I want here quick team viewer quick support on your screen press download okay when the app has downloaded it will appear as you see on the screen in, on my video um, on your screen you will be given an ID your speech pathologist or support person will ask you for your ID and also a password if it's required as well. 